A lot of people tell me, oh, the women in your photos look so comfortable. How do you do that? How you make them feel comfortable? And just to clarify, making people look comfortable is very different from making people feel comfortable. Okay, there are two different things. Some people may look comfortable on the outside, but can be extremely nervous in the inside. So as a boudoir photographer, my job is to do both. That is to make them feel and look comfortable. So there are a few things you can do to do that. So let me explain some of the things you need to do before the shoot and during the shoot. So let's begin by talking about the things you need to do before the shoot. Okay, so one thing you need to understand is that in order for people to feel comfortable with you, they need to trust you. Boudoir photos are very special, private and intimate for your clients. So they need to know not only that you are the right person for the job, but also that they and their photos are going to be safe with you. And this is especially important for the male boudoir photographers out there. Okay, you guys have to work at this a lot harder than our fellow female boudoir photographers. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, how do you make people trust you? This is a process that will take time. It's not going to happen overnight, so you have to be very patient. And also, it doesn't have too much to do with how awesome your photos are. This is something that has a lot to do with the perception people have about you and your business, which is basically how you build your brand and market yourself. If this sounds like it's a lot of work, it's because it is a lot of work, okay? There's no other way around it. It involves uh, lots and lots of good communication and using the right language in your website, your social media and uh, emails you send to your prospects what you say on the phone so it, it's all of that this is again something that my fellow male boudoir photographers have to navigate very carefully okay using the wrong words will definitely influence in a negative way the perception people have about you and therefore their trust in you okay so you have to be careful with that so what you need to do is to articulate as clearly as possible three things the first one is the reasons why you are doing this the reasons why you're doing boudoir second one is how is that you are adding value to your clients or in other words what problems are you solving for your clients and number three is how is that you are different from all the other boudoir photographers in your area then make sure you communicate these things in a simple but effective way in your website and in your social media in general. Keep in mind people's attention span is very short. So whenever they land on your website, for example, there's only a few seconds to capture their attention before they move on to the next photographer. So the words you use are very important to deliver the message you want. Okay, keep your copy short and sweet. Make it so that it feels like they are talking to you, not to a 500 fortune company. So test your website by doing the following. Open it and see if in four seconds or less people would have a pretty good idea of what you do and how can you help them. Ask a friend or someone who doesn't know what you do and see if they can guess, okay? Try uh, different things, different wording, different photos, call to actions and see what works best. Use services like hotjar.com to track what users do in your website, where do they click, what do they see, what do they like and change accordingly. You will be surprised of the things you will find, I promise. Another effective way to gain trust in people is to make a video introducing yourself. Talking about the three things I mentioned before, videos are very engaging and this is a great opportunity for future clients to see your face your personality and get to know you a little better okay this is something that has worked really well for me a lot of my clients tell me the reason why they decided to contact me is because they saw one of my videos in my website so uh, give it a try be aware that this may not be as simple as you think. 
okay it will take some time to put them together especially if you feel uncomfortable in front of the camera but they are totally worth it so i 100 percent recommend you do that now one thing you must have for sure to build trust is positive reviews you need to work on getting these from clients right away if you don't have them we as humans are social animals so validation from other people from independent third parties is going to be extremely important think about your own experience when you buy something at amazon for example would you buy from a seller with hundreds of positive five stars reviews or would you buy from a seller with zero reviews more often than not you would probably buy from the seller with more positive reviews right same thing applies to you and your business so positive reviews will help but it also helps to show any accolades sponsorships affiliations publications any press release interviews etc okay these things will definitely help create peace of mind in your client's head one thing you can do to get positive reviews quickly is to ask your clients or models you are working with if you can make a quick video of them talking about their experience with you right after the shoot is done. Most people will agree to that and say positive things about you. Okay, grab your phone or your camera and don't worry too much about the quality, just make sure you can hear them clearly. The more spontaneous the video, the better. One way to make people trust you overnight is through referrals, okay? If a friend is telling you they had an amazing experience with a photographer, you will take that at face value. Why? Because you trust your friends, okay? Normally, their opinion really matters to you. So create a referral program and make sure you encourage and compensate your clients for referring you to their friends and family. If you want to learn more about all these things I'm telling you, I recommend you to read a book that I think, in my opinion, is one of the best business books I have read in many, many years. It's called Build Your Story Brand, and it will give you plenty of information about how to build your brand and tell your story the right way. Now, let's talk about the things you should do during the shoot to make people feel and look comfortable. The most important thing during the shoot is that you need to show your clients that you know what you are doing. You have to be 100% in control over what happens during the shoot. You should be able to communicate very clearly all the things that will happen and establish clear rules about what is allowed and what is not allowed. Your client will need a lot of direction from you and you should be able to provide it once they see your authority once they see you are in charge your confidence they will rely on your expertise and trust your advice but if they see you are insecure that you don't know what's going to happen or you don't provide enough direction then they will lose confidence in you and your ability to create beautiful images for them please don't misunderstand this i'm not saying that you need to be a dictator or a bitch okay you don't need to be that think about it as someone who is holding your client's hand and guiding them through their boudoir experience something they know nothing about okay so you are there to help also make your space pleasant for your clients ask them if the temperature is okay play some music by the way i'm sharing here my spotify playlist i use during my shoots check regularly how they're doing and if they need a break offer water and snacks uh, provide constant positive feedback okay this is very important you have to be genuine though don't lie to them okay find positive things to say about them like, for example how confident they look how great their hair looks uh, etc okay uh, find positive things to say and encourage them through the whole shoot. That's going to make them feel welcome and more comfortable for sure. Now, what to do to make people 
look comfortable and this is uh, the easy part and it's related to facial expression and body language i for example ask people to close their eyes a lot you won't find too many of my photos in my work where people are looking directly at the camera and i do this on purpose because when people look at you they are acknowledging your presence and this is more of an aggressive stance the way i shoot uh, my style is more of a journalistic or voyeuristic approach that is um, without people acknowledging my presence it will give your images the sense of capturing a truly intimate moment and therefore making your clients look comfortable okay the more intimate the moment the more comfortable they will look so make sure you use their facial expression and body language to communicate that to communicate intimacy and the way you do that is by you know again closing their eyes open their mouth a little, touching their face with their hands, their legs, their neck. I always ask my clients to practice sexy facial expressions in front of a mirror days before the shoot because the more they do this on their own, the more they think about their shoot and the more comfortable they will be doing the same in front of me. So that's that about how to make your clients look and feel comfortable so practice this make sure you do all the things that i mentioned uh, pay attention to the language you use make sure people get to know you better before the shoot create a video for your website watch the words you use to communicate with them have a clear message uh, your personality is something that is going to play a big role in this uh, unfortunately i cannot teach you how to be more personable that's not my intention here. Everybody has a different personality and that's fine. Just make sure you adjust to your clients. Each person is going to be different. So you have to make sure your personality kind of mimics their personality. And so that's all. And I'll see you in the next video.